today's uh, mass intention is going to be for uh, remembering uh, Macarena uh, Sudbeck. The family and friends are here. They're going to have a little gathering afterward to which everyone here is invited right after Mass. The uh, series of weekday readings from uh, the prophet Hosea are coming to an end uh, with today's. Uh, some of his have been tough to read, tough to hear. He has been so critical of the Kingdom of Israel for their lack of fidelity to the covenant, uh, to turning their back on God. But uh, today, uh, the reading is an eloquent sort of invitation to return to God, to be reconciled. And of course, the lectionary couples it with a penitential psalm today. Uh, Jesus warns uh, his disciples uh, in the gospel that they're going to face persecution. So we begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Of course, we open ourselves again to his Spirit present in this place. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. You have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. You are the Good Shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God our sins and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, forgive all iniquity and receive what is good that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again they shall dwell in his shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of me, you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord. In them the just walk but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. My mouth will declare your praise. My mouth will declare your praise. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt and of my sin cleanse me. My mouth will declare your praise. Behold, you are pleased with sincerity of heart, and in my inmost being you teach me wisdom. Cleanse me of sin with hyssop, that I may be purified. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. My mouth will declare your praise. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit Take not from me. 
my mouth will declare your praise. Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustain in me. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. My mouth will declare your praise. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you to all truth and remind you of all I told you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. It's a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves, so be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. But beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say. For it will not be you who speak, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to another. Amen, I say to you, you will not finish the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. Each of the four Gospels uh, of the New Testament, uh, there is a backstory, you might say. There's the uh, the background of the evangelist uh, and of the community to which they originally wrote. Coming to a, a fuller understanding of that experience can help us in a way to uh, step into the story uh, to hear it from the vantage point of the evangelist or, for, or, the, or of the first audience. We know that Matthew's gospel, uh, today's gospel, was, it's, it's sometimes called the Jewish gospel, so it was written for, by, by a Jewish Christian, a person who started off Christian but uh, came to understand that Jesus was the fulfillment of the prophecies and it's written clearly to uh, a Jewish Christian audience. And uh, life, I think, wasn't so pleasant always for that community. Uh, it seems that uh, when some of them professed uh, wanting to be baptized and wanting to be Christians, their uh, Jewish colleagues who didn't feel that way would often say, like, well, there's the door. Uh, if you're going to believe that, uh, you know, don't let the door hit you in the behind on the way out. Uh, it was a painful thing to be told. It'd be like being told, don't celebrate Christmas uh, anymore uh, if you're going to believe a certain thing, whatever. So it was, it was an intense time, and it tore families apart. One person would want to believe, and uh, the others not and they didn't get along, uh, couldn't be in the same house sometimes. We still, unfortunately, have these kinds of experiences uh, even in our 21st century. Uh, I have a brother who hasn't been to Mass in 50 years. My parents used to wonder what they did wrong, uh, but he grew up in the same house I did, so I, I don't think they did anything wrong. People are raised to have a, a brain of their own and to make their own life decisions. But the decisions can be tough, uh, can be tough on family life. The, the call to belief, uh, to believe in God, uh, it's, it, it's all encompassing. It, it requires our jumping in with both feet, uh, believing wholeheartedly, but it can be a divisive thing for people who've never had that experience. And Jesus warns uh, his disciples in today's gospel 
that's going to be ahead for them. Uh, there's going to be persecution ahead for those who profess to believe in him. So the Christian faith has never been a cakewalk, uh, uh, and it still is not. It can rub against the grain of family, of the community, uh, all kinds of things. Uh, we live in a, a divided society today, so we certainly can uh, relate to these things. Jesus is going to take it on the chin himself. He's going to be put to death on the cross, even though what, is he, what has he done wrong other than healing people and spreading the good news of the love of God. You and I follow the tradition of the apostles. Uh, he sends them out uh, to, to proclaim this good news. It's such good news, but it's a message that not everyone wants to hear. Uh, but we have heard it. Uh, it resides in our hearts and souls. We can do no other than to follow because God has called us. Uh, it's a radical thing to be a disciple. It's an experience that each of us here can relate to. Uh, we follow because Jesus leads us to salvation and to So because of our Christian faith, we're able to confidently place all of our prayers and needs again in God's hand. We always start by thinking of our family and friends, our neighbors, especially so today uh, as we offer the Mass for uh, Macarena. We think of each of them, especially those who are calling out for healing and hope today. We pray to them. Of course, we continue to pray for our country and our world, for all of its divisions. We pray for an end to this insane war in Ukraine and a definitive end to the pandemic. We pray to them. Loving God, you called each of us to be disciples. We ask for the courage to embrace that call and we ask all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spirit. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to Almighty God. Grant us, O Lord, we pray that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you as a joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the heights. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the heights. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of the mystery of me. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Bernard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Most especially today, we're remembering again uh, Macarena uh, Sudbeck. And all who've died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus calls us, even though it's a radical thing, uh, he also empowers us with his own prayer, and so we can say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Turn to one another then and offer some sign of God. <laughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be.
and let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness, make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. I think my microphone power is going out or something. Can, have you been able to hear anything? Not much. Uh, I think it needs battery. Sorry about that. So, uh, once again, the family and friends are here for uh, uh, Macarena's uh, little gathering after Mass in the Fireside Hall. Everybody's welcome to come. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you today, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in.